Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and welcome back to another DVD video. Today we're going to be going over the basics of how to loop. If you're new to the game, this video is going to be perfect for you as it's going to give you some tips and show you what you can do in chase to help your odds at surviving. In later videos, I do plan on going over how to loop individual killers because every killer's power is different and how you loop one killer will differ from how you loop another. I also plan on making videos on different maps and how to loop those as well with the different tiles that come with those maps. But for today, everything that you hear in this video, you can use on every map, use on every killer. Really quickly, on a different note, I do stream on Twitch. I'm not going to go too in depth about that, but everything is down below in the description with schedule and the links and all that stuff. With all that being said, we can go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do once you spawn in is you're going to want to scout out that area of the map. Obviously, it's going to be on the way to your gens, so you don't waste any time. But it's always good to just look around see what you have to work with so once the killer does come to your gen and starts a chase you have an idea of what you have to work with when you do get into a chase you're going to want to take your loops tightly a huge mistake i see from a lot of newer survivors is they don't hug the loops tight enough let me show you the difference between running a loop loose and hugging the corners tight right now you see me taking this loop very wide and i only get to make it around one and a half times if i would have stayed tight to the loop i would have been able to at least make it around one more time which extends the chase longer which wastes the killer's time which helps your teammates get more gens done now let's look at the difference when you hug the loops tight Hugging the corners tightly bought me an extra loop and I got the stun on the killer, which buys us additional time to get to another loop to do the same thing. Another mistake I see newer survivors make is they don't keep their camera on the killer. Not keeping your camera on the killer leaves you vulnerable. It makes it really easy on the killer to mind game you and get a free hint, which is the last thing you want. Instead, you want to keep your camera locked in place on them, especially when you're at a loop. So if they do try to mind game, you can counter it. Remember, at all times, you want to keep as much distance from you and the killer as possible. The next tip is very easy and very simple. Don't camp pallets. Camping a pallet almost never results in anything good. If anything, it's gonna waste the pallet, you're gonna get hit or both. On the topic of pallets, we're gonna quickly talk about actually throwing them. There is a right way and a wrong way to throw pallets. The wrong way that you're seeing here is I'm waiting too long and vacuuming myself back into the pallet which the killer has swung through. This again is just as bad as camping a pallet because you wasted a pallet and you took a hit. You can get away with this if you know the killer isn't going to swing through the pallet, but if a killer swings through every single pallet and you try to bait it, you're going to get hit almost every single time. Instead, once you run through the pallet, let go of shift and then press space to throw the pallet. This is a lot more reliable than trying to vacuum yourself back into the stun and possibly taking a hit that otherwise you shouldn't have taken. The next topic I want to talk about is patience, and this can be used at any loop where you might lose line of sight of the killer. For this example, I'm just going to use Shaq. Shaq is a very strong loop, but can still be mind gamed by the killer. What you can do to prevent being mind gamed is stop in little areas where line of sight could be lost. Slowing down in about the middle of Shaq. So if the killer does come through the door, you can still get a fast fault. Or if he doubles back, you can redirect yourself and go towards the pallet. This next topic that I want to talk about is going to be very, very short, but I want to talk about 50-50s and what triggers them. Typically what triggers a 50-50 is when you're coming to a vault and either you're going to fake it or you're going to vault it. And either the killer is going to bite and go around or he's going to continue to pursue you. These are what those outcomes look like. Moving on to the last topic of this video, we're going to be talking about pathing. Pathing is pretty much taking everything you learned in this video and combining it into an entire chase with a killer. Taking loops tight, keeping your camera on the killer, throwing the pallets at the right time, being patient, and now moving from one loop to another efficiently. We're going to watch from the beginning and play that entire chase over again. You'll see me hugging the loops tightly, keeping my camera slightly behind so I can see if the killer is following me. I get the pallet drop on him and a stun. I make sure the killer is breaking the pallet and then I start heading towards the next loop.
You'll see me being patient here, making sure the wraith is going to follow behind me. I get a stun and instantly look behind me to decide what loop I'm going to go to next. We always want to make as much distance from the killer as possible, so instead of going through the front door of Shack or taking the window, we're going to run behind it past the hook, and you would continue following the steps from there. Alright, well that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was my first tutorial, so please be gentle. If there's anything you think I missed that I can include in the next tutorial, leave it down in the comments below. I do plan on going over basic tiles, special tiles on different maps. I also want to get into how to counter different killers as well, like I said before. In due time, all of that will come out. But thank you so much again for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you don't mind hitting that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Also, we do stream on Twitch if you want to check that out. It's in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.